Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I'm very confused as to what's going on here. It's not like I haven't played Stanley Parable before, or even Ultra Deluxe for that matter. But okay. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. There we go. Until the number five becomes the number nine. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, that's the Roman numeral nine. What other things show up? Oh, well, there's the actual number nine. And now for some reason I'm craving a fucking chalupa. God damn it, marketing. Why do you have to be good at what you do? Alright, we're gonna go with the actual number nine. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. I mean, you know, it's a logical place to stop is at the end. Which of the two made-up words below is most appealing to you? Hmm, let's see. Occuboinkle? Or scrumtush? Um, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards scrumtush on this one, but you guys can, you guys have your own opinions in the comments. Maybe you like Occuboinkle. Actually, I kind of like Occuboinkle too. I'm not even entirely sure what that, what that term would be used for. Is that, is that how you describe... Is that how you describe your manager having having relations with one of your co-workers, which leads to everyone quitting due to the obvious onset of nepotism? I don't know, I'm going with Scrum Tush. It sounds like more fun. <laughs> Please don't adjust the slider. You got it. Do you know what time it is right now? I do. It's time to party. Is the time that is right now the correct time? Of course it is. What is time, anyway? Uh, no. I mean, yes, there's a lot about myself that I haven't told you, but do I need to share all of my secrets with you? Help. <laughs> okay. Will you come back to visit me? Probably. That was that has got to be one of the most ridiculous ways to open a session of any game I've ever heard of, let alone the Stanley Parable. Oh my goodness! All right, well that was a treat. I'm glad I got to record that for you guys. This is the story. Yeah, we've already seen that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, maybe he had. Or maybe I figured out how to get out this window, and I can no show you guys. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Here you go. So as you can see, instead of wheels, we have we have just feet on the bottom of this chair. So. There you go, you can climb up onto this chair. Now, the last time I did it, I did it by crouching a few times in front of the chair, and eventually you just kind of go, whoopsie, and you can jump out the window. Yeah! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, yes. Now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? So, we are going to answer no. We are not sick of this gag yet. Ah. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you mm. never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. 
Well, I mean, I don't now, know. think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, I mean, it's content. It takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, yeah. well, this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, <laughs> what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Yay! If the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Ah, damn. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here continue with the game or just sit in this spot forever and ever cheers hmm how do I get back to that window I want to get out of the window <laughs> oh see this is part of the reason why I like this game it's so absolutely well written and it really does throw a, throw a lot of eggs into the basket of, you know, video game structure and narrative. And yeah, you're not fighting scarecrows with Dante and his sword, but sometimes just a good comedic thinker is all it really takes. Alright, and start over. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe he no had. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Everyone's gone. I don't understand. I'm going to go look out this window. Woo! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure I mean, and I really its just examination kinda want to do of structural option. narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? It's Isn't this white. a fun and unique place to be? Why kinda don't bland. we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now <laughs> would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. What do you mean my brain does is function? This parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. I mean, it's a good thing I'm playing this in privacy then now, isn't it? And so many other things are also best done in private. You know, reading a scary book, loudly watching a horror movie, playing Honey Pop at any volume. Some things are just best not done in the company of others. This ending, on the other hand, I think, I don't know, I'm fine with it. I'm just happy that I rediscovered how to get out the window. That was something I was having trouble with earlier. And I just, for the life of me, couldn't remember how to do it. And then once I figured it out, I just couldn't help but come out here and just get a nice big laugh. I mean, 
it's not exactly a subversion of narrative video game tropes, but... <coughs> pardon me. But it is something that plays with them and in a way that I think is quite meaningful and entertaining. And ultimately, isn't that what we're here for, is entertainment? To see Stanley essentially defenestrate himself for your amusement? Dark Sage, you can't say that on YouTube! What do you think defenestrate means? And hopefully you don't think it means to play Honey Pop. No, that is a completely different word that ends in T-I-O-N. By the way, for those of you wondering, this little ukulele bit just goes on forever, so we're going to actually restart and try to get a different ending now. But there you go, we got the two window endings. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What could it mean? Be my valentine. No, we're not going there yet. They just remembered. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There is another... Thanks, game. There is another ending over here that I can get. We'll just kind of have some fun with that. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, so now when we go to the boss's office, we're not doing the broom closet ending. I think I already demonstrated that one. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yes, I will walk upstairs to my boss's office. Already been in the bathroom. All right, here we go. The office door is open. Now, what I'm going to try to do, because this does have somewhat strict timing, is we're going to walk in and then walk back Stay out. In. There we go. Now, this seems like it should be it. Like, that's really just, really just it. You just kind of leave the narrator behind and just piss off. But there is more to it. Hopefully you guys don't wake up and actually do that. What would you like for breakfast, Money Crisp? Are you feeling okay? Like that sounded almost entirely forced. But there is something you can do once you've left the narrator in the office. We're gonna come back here. Let's see, I think we now go. What do you? Go all the way down at this point, I think. I'm trying to remember how this works. Because there is an ending associated with just leaving the manager's office like that. I'm trying to remember how exactly it works. So you can do the broom closet, but nothing will come of it. And yes, there actually is something here. Don't worry, I'm not just leading you on. I just have to find it first, that's all. And even though I could just look up like a walkthrough or something, I mean, you really need a walkthrough for a walking simulator? For what it's worth, though, that is somewhat ironic. I need a walkthrough for my walking simulator. I can't figure out where to walk to. Oh, here we go. You are now leaving. 
escape pod bay floor 460. Or, or not 460. Alright, well, elevator doesn't work. Let's just go up the stairs. On our way to floor 760. Gonna take the escape pod, baby. This door is fire engine red. Yes, I checked. It's not candy apple red. Only a few more floors to go. Another red door. Elevator that don't work. It all looks so familiar. It's like I've been here before. Or 758. Also notice that's what's happened. That's what's happening outside of the windows is recycling. Like how many times can you see uh let's see cubicle number 432 and not go uh what now? We've almost reached the escape pod. Gonna escape the Stanley Parable. Escape pod launch bay, there we go. Escape! We are going to escape! Presumably. We're gonna watch the door get further and further away. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not surprised that you didn't, that there wasn't an actual escape route, or an animation of an escape pod launching, but it is an ending, and you know what? We got it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, I think we have time for one, maybe two more endings if we do this right, so... Come to our first, well, not our first, but the first real binary choice when before Stanley the content came to a door. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I will enter the door on my left. I am a good person and want, to, and want nothing more than to please the narrator. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yeah, people Feeling are overrated. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I mean, how many of you are with me on that? So oftentimes people can just be overrated. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Now we're going to deviate, because I want to see what's downstairs. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? I mean, his everyone boss did would vanish. think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. No, of course and it didn't. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Like? For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Right. simply repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He no just Pepsi. hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. An kind of a shitty dream, if that's the case. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. 
imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very Dude, my thoughts are right back on this top machine. spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. All right, when I wake up, there won't be a pop machine there. The on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Wouldn't so many of us like to actually hear those words? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in the no, moment, don't. she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. I bet you don't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Well, hopefully your decision helped make someone's life better there, Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'd say that's not bad. We got some, essentially four endings. We got the two window endings, the escape pod ending, and then the Stanley goes fuck nuts ending. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, you know, defenestrating Stanley and then making him question his own reality. That sure was a lot of fun, wasn't it? And if you want to continue having fun like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more stuff coming down the pipeline in the near future. 
I thank you for watching and spending some of your free time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.